Hello everyone, my name is Light and welcome back. I am sorry I've been away for I think it's one and a half month, but now we are going to continue on our free to play optimal playthrough series. Now since I've been away for so long, there is some uh, returning rewards you get and some different stuff such as the comeback growth plan. Also uh, your rewards will be 3x in the campaign. There are several other things that will be 3x I can show you. So auto battles, daily quest, tavern, realms gate, some good stuff. It's not going to make a huge difference in sort of how you play the game. So it doesn't really matter. Um, but I just wanted to point it out for if there are any new players that wonder why it's uh, a bit different from probably their account. So I don't remember exactly what we were doing or where we were. However, first of all, I'm just going to go through the daily quests and then we'll continue on the account. Okay, almost finished our daily quests. However, we need to get rewards twice from the campaign and we can't really do that yet because in the chapter missions, we need to get gold from auto battle. So we are going to hit the loot button, grab the loot and that should complete our gold quest. Yes, very good. And then we claim. And then we can claim all of these rewards as well. Very nice. And we need level 58, which I am pretty sure we can get by grabbing the rewards. We also need 300k again. And then now we can get these rewards. That shoots us up in levels. Very, very nice. So that means we can claim this one. A nice puppet. Uh, we get some gold. We also need to upgrade uh, the stone on one of our heroes. So we are taking the Garuda up and I believe uh, we needed to go all the way to crystal. So let's upgrade to this. Attack stone, that's pretty good. Um, so after that, we can go back into the chapter mission, get another forest puppet, very, very good. Claim this, claim this. Okay, so we need to deal damage to guild boss and we also need to upgrade one of our heroes to level 160. To do that, we need to take Garuda to 2 star or 7 star. And that means we need 4 5 star forest heroes. We have a couple here. Um, do we have extra? We have this one. We have the Vessa, which we have. Hmm, I kind of don't want to use the Vessa. Um, so let's just check. We have more puppets here. Very good. We summon these three. And this, is it Head Striker? Windwalker isn't really going to be uh, especially useful. Um, so we just leveled it, it up earlier. Oh, we had an extra here. Then we can keep it. Then we can keep it. That's okay. We're still going to use it later. But now we have our Garuda up to a 7 star. We get her to level 160. We should have enough resources. We do, which is perfect. And then we go over here. Now we need to do deal damage to the guild boss. Just going to claim our glory challenges, which, which give us some equipment. Our achievements, we claim this, we claim that. And then we go into the guild altar. Where are you? There you are. We don't have guild level 3 yet. So we can't do that yet. We haven't really done a lot in the guild. That's okay, that's okay. This should be a very easy win. So, oh, we can't skip yet. We are not level 70. I forgot. <laughs> Man, this, there, there are some things you have to get used to when you start new accounts again. Our Garuda is getting stunned. Uh, we should be able to one-shot this before the 15 rounds. But the CC, I don't really like the CC. Maybe I should have swapped places on Norma and the Garuda. Hopefully we do it in one shot. We are five rounds in and they're almost half HP. Yeah. This should be possible. Just uh, be a bit lucky on the CC. Uh, hopefully Garuda doesn't get CC chained. I think we need two more active skills from Garuda and we are good. She gets CC'd. It's another active. It's another active. It's we're, we're cutting it close. It would be very nice not to use another attempt. Uh, and maybe just save the attempt for another chapter mission. Yeah, 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 this should be doable. Oh, but that's a lot of CC. Stop CCing, please. We're at round 30. Skip two rounds now. Come on. Okay, very nice. 
Perfect. Then we don't have to revive yet. We can upgrade guild tech. So let's just get this to level 10. Perfect. Very good. We can claim some guild coins. And we get some more rewards from comeback and on all of that stuff. That's why we get some extra extra gold. Another forest puppet. Very, very good. Clear tower 150 in oblivion. Complete six star or above tavern quest. And would you guess it? Uh, wait, never mind. Didn't we have a level six quest? Oh, it's down here. Oh my God. We're going to use, you should not do this. I'm doing it because of YouTube content. It's not up optimal to use 45 gems for this, but I am doing it so I'm able to push further in the content. Uh, so I don't have to record later this day and then we can claim this and now we need to push in the campaign I gained a bunch of levels earlier So now I'm just going to push fast through all of the campaign and then I will see you back then and that's campaign pushed as far as we can So we're now at 11 4 in campaign which should allow us to complete our chapter mission It does so we claim this we claim that so now we need gold from auto battle which, oh, I was supposed to click the loot button. I did a little oopsie there, that's fine. So we're probably not going to be able to do that today because we also need to, oh, we also need to deal damage to the guild boss, push tower of oblivion. However, I need to check, what do we need to upgrade our Garuda to, uh, okay, so we need three forest units and a six star puppet. Did we get the six star puppet? So we have three forest units there. Yeah, so we need to finish the chapter mission to get our next Garuda upgrade as well. However, what we can do, we can probably upgrade our monster. We can, so let's do this, evolve our lion, which unlocks uh, another slot, but that's not something we're going to start upgrade. So we keep upgrading this, we keep, yeah, that's all the upgrades we can do on the lion. We go into the celestial island, I have claimed all of this, and then we keep upgrading our stone of void mines whenever we can. Upgrade, upgrade, and now we need to upgrade the Watchtower next, so we are, yeah, just going to wait for Watchtower upgrade. And then, always remember guys, do the daily missions in the island, so we visit three islands, like this. Uh, and boom, then we have one, two, three to claim, perfect, then we return, our adventure should be done, it is. Um, so that's the Dwarven Ruins, so let's upgrade the speed with our tech points. Always upgrade speed or engine first, as it makes your travels faster. So let's do another one in the Dwarven Ruins. That is a fine setup, we put in the lion, battle, yes, and then we click our way through this. Plunder, and remember, always choose the system where you have your team. Oh, the lion got put into the wrong. That's fine. It's usually fine. Usually fine. That gives us some more progress. We also use the 50 gems on this every time. That is no, uh, it's no exception on that one. Just use the 50 gems. It is definitely worth it. Going to continue to explore here. Challenge. We just throw in our team. Like this, lion, hopefully we win, we do, perfect, gives us some more loot, view the shipwreck, we get the loot, three more goes, can we get another plunder or another a rescue, we do not, we don't buy anything from the merchant, there is no reason to, because we are saving up our stuff, can we now upgrade this, we can now upgrade this, because the journey gave us some more stone of void, and then we upgrade this twice again. Next upgrade, Watchtower, but we're waiting. We need to go into Tower of Oblivion and see how far or if we even can push any further in the Tower of Oblivion. Let's do Garuda Frontline. Uh, this looks good. I believe we can skip far. We can skip quite far. Okay, that is very far. Almost all the way to 200. Let's see, what's up? We should be able to win this, no? It's the Demon Hunters. Maybe the silence messes us up. 
think this is winnable. Yeah, the silence makes us not use our ultimate ability. We get the shield, we get the ultimate. Yes, perfect. So let's, we can, oh, we can't skip true. We need level 70. We need level 70. I forget. Okay, Garuda hitting. Yeah, this should be a win as well. Let's remember to click confirm so we can fast skip the next battle. Hit confirm. And we skip. Skip, 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 skip. It's a very, a lot of winnable battles there. This is great. This is amazing. Now that's a defeat. Let's do one more skip on that. Okay, let's check it out. What is happening here? It must be a CC problem. I think they can stun. Yeah, they can stun. Okay, so let's just try and skip it many times because maybe we are lucky on the CC. That's another defeat, another defeat. Another defeat? The last one also? Yeah, the last one also. One thing we did unlock was the Aspen Dungeon. I'm not going to go into Aspen Dungeon now because I believe um, I'm going to record, uh, I'm going to edit one video and I'm going to record more later today and I believe at that point I will have be able to, uh, I will have this chapter mission finished. Um, and that allows me to get a, a better Garuda and that also again allows me to push further into the Aspen dungeon. So um, we don't have Sila yet. Brave Trial is not open. I have not done Fantasy Arcade yet. I am going to do it as sort of an uh, own video and uh, as a guide uh, on this account because I believe some people are struggling with it. It is not really that hard once you once you know the strategy but I will uh, make an own video on that. The only thing we have to do now really is just wait for the gold. So that's what we're gonna do. And I will see you back then. And we are back. We can now claim the loot, get our chapter mission finished. We get our rewards that also mean we can go into the growth pack and 50 million gold. You know what, I think we're gonna get this. I think this is a decent one to get. This one is also one of the growth packs you should get, but we can't get that yet. So chapter 19, now we also need to do more boss damage. Okay, so hopefully the boss has that amount of HP. I think we should upgrade our Garuda first. Definitely upgrade our Garuda first. So we grab one six star forest puppet, and then we need one, two, three, I believe. And that should be enough to go into our Garuda. We do three forest puppets and then another puppet. We awaken her and that is great. Level her up, 180. We still have the resources. We have a lo loads of new equipment. So we're gonna out equip all of that. Now we do the guild boss. So we go into the guild altar, she is now stronger, and uh, let's see how far it goes. Speed it up. She deals uh, just a, a tiny chunk of the enemy whenever she hits, so I'm uh, waiting to see how much her ultimate ability... Uh, decent. Decent. It's for sure going to be enough damage, but do we one-shot it? That's the question. It looks like we're going to be able to do it within 15 rounds. Not quite 100. Yeah, there is no way they will survive. There really is no way. We are really closing in on the victory now. Round 11, so there's still three more rounds and the other heroes are... Well, the Kargath is half HP, but now it's only two heroes left, so maybe... Maybe we don't one-shot this, uh, this wave. Maybe we don't. Let's see the Garuda active here. It's going to be the make or break. Oh, I don't think we do. I don't think it's a one shot, guys. Ah, it's more than enough damage though. Four, 4% four left, that's, well, that's unlucky. 
Then we go into the chapter missions, we claim our guild coins, we claim our equipment. Equip one hero with a two star artifact. That means we have to upgrade an artifact. We also need to clear easy and Aspen dungeon so we can do that. That's going to be great. Um, crying undead. Do we have any other artifacts? Let's auto equip the new gear. This is the best artifact we have at the moment. So the thing is, whatever you put into it is not going to um, disappear. Um, it is going to... Like the value of the item is still going to persist. Okay, so we don't have enough by adding the green ones. Then I will show you guys a technique. So we can do a blue one. And uh, to get some extra artifact dust, we do all the yellow ones and we put them into the blue one. Also, we can remove this and then we level it up. And then all of the remaining, uh, the remaining XP that is like uh, extra turns into dust. This is very good. There are some times you don't want to do this and that's with orange and exclusive orange artifacts because um, when you disenchant them for a different type of resource later, that gives you more than how like, like the value of the dust the orange artifact would give you. It is a bit hard to explain, but I can touch on that later when it actually occurs. So yeah, let's just do that one more time and then we should have enough dust for sure. So we can do this, level up. Now, well, now I have already completed the quest, I'm pretty sure, so it doesn't really matter. Equip a hero with a two with two star artifacts. Equip one hero with two star artifacts. So if I do this, yeah, there we go. <laughs> We don't really want to upgrade the red one, so it's uh, it's good that we just upgraded the, the blue one. So you should do the same thing. Then. So our next goal now is to do Aspen Dungeon, because to upgrade the Garuda to a 9 star, we need one more Garuda copy. And I am very positive we do not have that Garuda copy yet. That Garuda copy appears... Not here, not here, not here. We need chapter mission 25. That means we go into the Aspen dungeon now, we choose our heroes. And the thing is, this is going to be very easy for this Garuda. So I am just going to skip ahead whenever I hit a big milestone. And then I will show you how far, how far we come. So as you can see, um, if I just uh, take one of my one star five cost, okay, this one gets owned. So that's a bad example, but say I use my Vesa. See, like, look how strong she is. And she's only level 105 star compared to this. So there is no point in showing you all of the fights. I am just going to skip ahead uh, uh, whenever we hit a big milestone. So the Aspen dungeon, it saves your progress on every 50th wave. That means when I hit or when I clear EC50, the next time I will open Aspen Dungeon, I will start at easy 50. And then when you clear easy 100, you go to normal difficulty and then you start at normal difficulty. So you don't have to always clear through every stage of the Aspen Dungeon. Um, that's why uh, it's going to take some time. And if I show you all of the battles, it's going to take way too long. So we're just going to skip and I will show you every milestone and then we'll take it from there. So let's go. So now we have cleared all the way to EC51 and now the battles, they turn a bit harder. So we are going to see how it goes, but this, uh, this is quite easy. I believe we will get all the way to normal today, which is a very, very good. So let's keep running it. And you know it, there we have it, normal number one. That means we cleared all the 100 levels of easy mode. Let's check it. How can we, if oh, okay, now that's a bit more damage. Uh, not sure if we will make it all the way to normal 50. We will not. <laughs> okay. 
Yeah, everything else is just going to be defeats here. So the thing about Aspen Dungeon is uh, whenever it opens up, you go back into it and then it smashes all of the levels where you sort of have saved your progress. So for me, that will be normal two now. No, not normal two, normal one, sorry. It only saves every 50 level. And then it gives you some resources and then you go into the Mysterious Merchant. And here you are presented with options uh, of stuff to buy. We don't really ever buy things with gems. Spirit for gold, we can skip that. Promotion stones, we can, we can buy those, we can buy those. Um, but then you also get wishing coins and arena tickets. So everything that costs coins and not gems, you usually buy it. But spirit, you don't really need to buy it because you can get spirit in the marketplace. So let's go through our achievements, passing the easy difficulty in Aspen Dungeon. Great, perfect, exactly how it's supposed to be. We have another chapter in the growth uh, completed. Now we need 400k gold and we need 2 million damage to a guild boss. Are we going to be able to get our gold? I do believe so. We are now at, oh yeah, for sure. We just get this, level 70. Now we can finally start skipping battles, so look at this. Once you hit level 70, you can, well, with the exception of campaign, campaign have unskippable battles. It's uh, one of the, I think it's the only place there might be, I don't quite remember, as it's been a while since I've played campaign, unskippable battles. Um, but that allows us to clear this chapter mission, and now it's 2 million damage to a guild boss. Um, oh, this is... Okay, so this is very annoying. The guild boss is not going to have enough HP for me to clear that mission. And that means it's going to cost me 40 gems and then 80 gems for the next try. If it's your account, I would advise to not use these gems. It is not a big amount of gems. However, it is... In my opinion, sort of a waste to do it. There is no rush to do anything. So just clearing the chapter mission fast as possible. Uh, there, there really isn't any like uh, reason to do that. So in my opinion, it's better off to not rush them and just do it the most efficiently with your resources. However, as I am making videos on YouTube, I need to have the content flowing. So for me, I feel like I can argue for it, but you just shouldn't do it. Okay, so now we need to upgrade Monster Aura to level 20. So that's two upgrades on this. Perfect. And we can quick upgrade to 30. Do we do that? It costs a lot of gold, but you know, it's worth it. And then we upgrade this. Let's continue upgrading our Neiman. Um, like that. Perfect. Continue our chapter missions. We get some gear. Now we need 215 Tower of Oblivion, we need to continue in the campaign, we need to do one purchase in the arena store and five profit summons. For the profit summons, those are, like the profit orbs are orbs you usually want to save. However, since it's only four more profit orbs and we are far away from having enough to use them on events, we are going to use them. I would advise the same for you as well. When you get very late though into the chapter missions, like I think it's 50, 60, then it's going to require more and more of these resources to be able to complete the chapter missions. Then I would definitely wait for an event. But, oh, we got a five star, very nice. And we do it in Shadow Faction because we want LOEs. So we're going to claim that. Now we need to make one purchase in the arena store. So we go into the marketplace and the arena store. So we just buy the cheapest thing we can find in the arena store. Yeah, wishing coin, actually. Buy one wishing coin there. Uh, which isn't a bad buy either. Uh, that's usually what you use your arena store coins on, is uh, the wishing coins. Now we need 10 more stories in the Tower of Oblivion. And now we have upgraded our Garuda and our Lion. So this should be possible. Let's get it. Hopefully we go past 250. Looks like we're doing that. Defeat on 250. Wait, 8. We're not going to try and push any further. And then campaign 1110. And I believe we should be able to get... No, we are locked by levels. As I've said before, and I will say it again, always push to the furthest uh, point you can in the campaign. And that for us today is 11.6. It gives you more XP and that's important in the early game until you hit level 130. 
And now since we are locked by levels and it's impossible for us to clear stage 11-10 in the campaign, that's where the episode ends. For the next episode we are probably going to be able to get our 9 star Garuda and I'm really hyped for that. So that's going to be great. We managed to get some good progress today, um, continuing this optimal grind. So for the next episode, stay tuned. My name is Light and thank you for watching this video.